السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اللہ تعالی کیپ اس آل وتھ عافیہ اللہ تعالی پروٹیکٹ اس فرام دا فتنا دیٹ از گوئنگ آن ٹو ڈے اینڈ مے اللہ تعالی میک اٹ ایزی فار ایوری ون اللہ تعالی سیز ان دا قران یا ایھا الذین امنوا تقوا الله ولتنظر نفس ما قدمت لك واتقوا الله ان الله خبير بما تعملون صدق الله العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك لمن الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين Dear brothers in Islam Allah Ta'ala has a very dua that Allah keep us all with afiyat Allah protect our iman first of all Allah Ta'ala give us the best in this dunya and the akhirah and especially we make dua for all those that have passed away Allah Ta'ala grant them Jannatul Firdaus high stages in Jannatul Firdaus Allah Ta'ala grant sabr and jameel to the peer, to the families and especially those that are sick Allah grant them shifaa kamila ajila mustamira and especially Allah Ta'ala protect us from the fitna that is going on in today's time We must remember that we have been sent to this dunya hum aaye hain jaane ke liye that we have come in this dunya to go back to Allah Taala Allah Taala has sent us Hazrat Adam alayhi salam was sent by Allah Taala and we are you can say the children of Adam alayhi salam and it is as he was sent for a specific reason in the same way we are also being sent by Allah taala for this specific reason that at all given time that we should remember Allah taala we prepare ourselves for the akhirah and we prepare for for jannatul firdaus and Allah taala make it easy for all of us there is Allah taala says that ya ayyuhal ladina amanu aw do that have brought iman ittaqullah fi Allah يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله ولتنظر ان بوند اوفر ذات ويتش يو هاف سنت فورث فور ذا تومورو كل کے لیے کیا بھیجا ہے کل کے لیے کیا بھیجا ہے تو ورڈ کل ان دا اردو لینگویج ات مینز کل جو ایک ایک کل جو گزر گیا اور ایک کل جو آنے والا تو ہم جو کل گزر گیا اس کی فکر اب مت کریں تو کل اور دا یسٹرڈے دیٹ ہیز پاسڈ We shall leave it in the hands of Allah Ta'ala that Allah forgive us if we have done any wrongs. And the kal that is going to come, aane wala kal, uski fikar kare. We don't know how we are going to pass this kal that is going to come, the tomorrow that is going to come. Is wakt hamara jo, wakt jo hai bas aaj ka wakt hai. The time that we have at our disposal is the day that we, we have been given that it is today. that yesterday has passed tomorrow is going to come we do not know allah make it easy for us and allah make us prepare for the akhirat and allah taala make it easy that we prepare ourselves in such a way that allah gets happy and his nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam gets happy with us we should ponder that as somebody asked one buzurg he say how much when should we make our best ibadat when should we make our best ibadat this buzurg replied one day before you die so the person asking the question he asked he said how do we know when will be our last day so the buzurg said that think every day have this thought in mind that tomorrow is my last day kal meri ah that i i have only one day left i am going to die I have to face Allah Taala. I think it is your last day, so make the best of ibadat. Make the in such a way that Allah Taala is happy with us. His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is happy with us. You must remember that Rasul Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went through a lot of difficulties in order that we could be His ummat. He went through a lot of difficulties, all the hardships that he went through, just for that. that we could be on the right track 
Eh? He went through a lot of difficulties. Why you cannot compare? Even when Jibrail Ali Salam had mentioned that who will be in the last stage of Jahannam, when he mentioned when Jibrail Salam said that your ummah, your ummah, those that have not they committed, those that have committed major sin and did not ask Allah Taala for mafi, they will go into Jahannam for a little while. And they will come out from there. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was so concerned, so worried about Mary Ummat. Mary Ummat Jahannam mein jayegi. Azab, uh, azab ho gaya My Ummat will go into Jahannam and bear all the difficulties and punishment in Jahannam. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he fainted. And through that, he, when he got up, and he said, I mean, look at the worry, the concern that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that my ummah must not go into Jahannam. My ummah must be saved from Jahannam. My ummah must be in Jannat. So we as the ummati of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, at all times we should prepare ourselves, whatever the command of Allah ta'ala and the command of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is said that we might think, no, we all only follow the Qur'an, but it is mentioned in a beautiful Farsi, Farsi saying, Gufta o Gufta Allah Bhuad, Garche Az Hulkume Abdullah Bhuad. He is saying that he, the sayings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the sayings of Allah, although it emanates from the Mubarak tongue of the servant of Allah Ta'ala, and that he is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah give us tawfiq and hidayat of preparing ourselves in the best of ways that we can be presented to Allah Ta'ala and Allah can be happy and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can be a wa akhiru dawana alhamdulillah rabbil alameen.